A new day, baby. We're here. We're live. Kind of, sort of. Week 16? Yep. Your grandma's sitting here with us. Rest in peace, Babushka. We back. Yes. Funny but foul. Funny but foul. Back What's at going it again. on? Beautiful fucking Spanish music in the end. Love it. Right man. there. Shout, shout out to uh, what, what's our, what's our boy's name? You want to shout him out real quick? Shout out, bro! Shout out to my boy Roberto Povida. Brrr, yeah, baby. Um, what's going on, dude? It's a good week, man. Is it a good week? Remember, remember when last week we were talking about shit, and we're like, um, what do we think this week's gonna be like? And I made a prediction. I'm like, I think it's gonna be a good week. I think we're going to have a major announcement on Tuesday about the fucking restrictions and all this shit. You. Yeah. And what happened? What happened? No, you tell me what happened. Dog, I've been so out of it this week. Fuck you. No, you I haven't. had a bad day today. Okay, and, we're not uh, talking about today. We're talking about this week because I was like. Yeah, you're right, man. I was like, guys, come you're Tuesday. Right. You're come, right, except uh, uh, one thing. What? The Heat aren't getting to Giannis, bro. That's true, actually, yeah. Playoff predictions, I, that's not gone well for me this week, and we're going to get into that in a second here, but. Uh, in terms of like how I'm feeling, I'm feeling great, man. Cause that, that, that shit on Tuesday when I mean, I didn't predict it. I was just listening to some like people talking about it. And I'm like, it feels like it's going to be good shit. And then, you know, Tuesday comes, we get that big announcement where it's like, all right, boys, ladies and gentlemen, we're looking to like, we're going we're gonna to be in a good place. We got this like four phase restart plan and all that shit, but that was fucking awesome. I just had some of this. Hey, you saw he- uh, Hector's uh, disapproval of having some. Mm-hmm. I always bullshit and say, Hey. No alcohol. Every fucking time. And uh, I always time. end up sipping. Sipping that wine. Sipping that tequila. The, the Hennessy. The Hennessy. Um, yeah, man. We're looking at the, the brackets right now, boy. And, uh, you know, clips looking good. Mavs can... Uh, you know, I'm all about that Serbian power. You know, Clip, you know about dicey, me, right? Man. No, are... you know about me, right? Like we all friends with Serbs. <laughs> yeah, and shit. true. It's true. The you know, fucking you know, pure, the purebreds. Yeah, we've done we've done some illegal act. I man, I've done some illegal activities with some Serbians. Sure, you know, it's sure. all good. You know, it yeah. went south, but it's all good. We tried. Um, that being said, what are you gonna say right now? Well, no, I was gonna say that the the the, the Clippers were looking pretty dicey because they were down 2-0. and that was looking pretty like. Because going in, I'm, I was, I wasn't. I don't want to say I was favoring the Clips, but I, I had, I had them going in as like they'll probably do pretty well. I don't think they're going to. I, I had them taking the series, and as soon as they went two up, I was like, you know what, that looking pretty. I mean, it's still looking pretty dicey because coming back to nothing is still a big deal. That's not marriage. Easy. That's not easy. Both your boys are gonna lose. Remember this day. I think. Remember this day. I think the Nugs take it though. Twenty ninth. Remember this day. I, th- I think the Nugs remember are gonna. This day. Well, Dallas is out. Okay, Dallas is out this this round. Nugs They're up trail- two one. You still ha- you still have them losing. I say Clips coming back. You think so? I think okay. I got a feeling. I got you a think feeling. They got it in because because if they, we're talking about the MVP here. We're talking about also we're talking about Paul George. Yeah. You tell me they can't fucking guard that kid. Well, first of all, play fucking playoff Paul George playoff P is fucking trash in the playoffs. If he can this, prove this me season. wrong, yeah, yeah. Well, in the last season, in the in the lockdown, he was absolutely put up trash numbers. Well, a lot, a lot going on. Yeah, sure, fine. But if he can, if he can turn it around and start like you know doing what he needs to, do, yeah, I think Clips got a good chance of taking that series. Dallas, they got a strong team, but it's really gonna be off the Doncic because he carries a big load for them. Like he really takes it on for the team, and I think that, I don't know how sustainable that is gonna be against against the Clippers, but they got it. I. I I don't, I don't, I don't say they're gonna take the series because I honestly, I think that right now that's up in the air still. Yeah. If Dallas wins one more, that's it. That's it. And, and no, and, and Clippers ain't coming back from a three-one against Dallas. I, I don't see that happening. I think Lakers came back from a three-one once, or who was it? Was it Heat or Lakers? Cleveland, bro? Was Cle- it Cleveland? Cleveland on on the Golden State? Ah, yeah, 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 that's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. King James. That's right. He's a couple years absent. You know, a couple years uh, too late. But uh, I still believe in King James and uh, our boy, uh, you know, Anthony. The, the, Davis? Yeah. The, that was a dicey game one for them. That was, uh, I mean, they lost. That wasn't good. Anthony and he was, was and Davis not was there. And Davis was playing like absolute garbage. 
Well, he wasn't there, and you can also tell that they don't have a, a true post presence anymore. But then uh, game two, fucking Davis like, drops a 30 bomb. The thing with Dwight I liked is that they had a post presence, but now they actually have none. Like, po- Dwight gave him like a 30% post presence. Games changed. The post game isn't as strong as it used to be. It's a huge factor, though. Like, the reason Jok- uh, Jovic, Jokic. Jokic is, uh, my bad, uh, is uh, so successful is because he's good at the post. He's right. also fucking. He's a best facilitator ever, as well. Best ever center, center assist, like passer ever. Take it. Uh, ah, yeah, ever. passer, passer. passer yeah. That's passer. Like, facilitator assist, for sure. No ball center. handling, pretty good. Yeah. yeah, as a center, best ever passer. Pretty good shooter too. Yeah. The only thing he doesn't have, he's not athletic. It's true. At all, it's true. You're probably more athletic than him. <laughs> he's also seven feet tall. <laughs> and and you are like, you're like above average, you know, human being. Sure. Um, yeah. So nugs, I say nugs, take it. Um, which, ja- which which other series are you like? Are you like actually closely watching? Which, which ones do you? I'm I'm you watching following? I'm watching uh, I'm watching uh, Knicks because of Rose and Trey Young's hairline. I I, I, oh, I got I got, we'll the, that I got the over and under on it on it going back an inch. Jesus. Um, I, I'm I'm watching uh, Philly, but I'm just watching highlights because I know that they're gonna beat the Wizards. Well, yeah, but 3-0. I like how I like how Westbrook's playing. Um, I'm also watching. Uh, uh, well, I was watching the. Uh, um, heat and Bucks, but oh Bucks yeah, sweep. again, yeah, that, that's gonna be Bucks. Um, sweep, yeah. So I mean, what it is? Sorry, it is a Bucks sweep. Um, and then the other thing, that's it. I'm not watching Jazz. I'm barely watching. I'm not watching Nuggets at all because I don't care. You're watching Lakers? That's my team. Gotta do it. That was my team in 08. Fuck the Lakers. When fucking Kobe was getting like 60 points and the rest of the team was getting 20. Fucking Imagine watching those fucks then. Nobody's nobody's not passing to Kobe at that point. Yeah. yeah, it was scary, that. man. It was like yeah. rape charges too. It was like, oh, and then this girl comes up with like eight sperm counts, and you're like, bitch, you're a hoe. <laughs> Come on, son. Um, uh, how do you, do you think the Knicks make it out of that? Uh, no. no, no. I think you they know what have, I think their they biggest don't have enough chemistry. You know what I think their biggest liability has been this this, this series. What's up, Randall? Randall has been playing like absolute garbage. <sighs> well, people think Randall's supposed to somehow you know fucking perform like really well people don't understand that like this guy in the lakers he was like coming off the bench and yeah but he was he's getting been, like six he's played points a game great this year though like yeah, really decent play, numbers like you said playoff basketball i is know different. that's what i'm saying so because when i was watching the games i'm like the knicks because they, they took a game away from the hawks so i'm like okay they got potential but the thing is i was looking at randall's stat line and i'm like if randall can't make it happen for himself his team won't be able to win because there's not enough star power in that team to carry like these dips in performance from him. Okay, Rose 2.0 isn't like Rose 2 1.0. Okay? Well, that's what I'm saying. So like, that's yeah. one. Other than Randall and Rose, who's there? It's just it's just an, a regular team. That's what I'm saying. It's so like, it's they like don't, a, they're not going to make it, bro. Uh, RJ Barrett, he, decent, but not. Again, it's not, it's not the level of guy that's going to like take you and like win games for you, right? You need everybody to come up, and especially Randall being the focal point. If he's not performing, you're basically fucked. It's like if the Jazz... All of a sudden, Conley goes to shit, and Gobert goes to shit. You, wh- what? Who else? Who's gonna Who's gonna do it for you? Mitchell, I guess. My grandma's gonna come out of retirement. I heard it's the word on the street. <laughs> um, but, but anyways, yeah. Trey Young's hairline, bruh. Trey Young's goddamn bruh. hairline, bruh. Jesus Christ, man. <sighs> he's what? 22, 21? My guy, he is twenty two, sir. But he's like, okay, remember Maximovich? Yeah. We knew Maximovich sure, was gonna go sure, bald sure, in sure. grade nine. Okay, fine. When I came in that school for a fucking summer ball, yeah, I saw Maximovich once, and I was like, "That guy is just gonna look like an old Italian dude that's bald. He's gonna look like some guy out of The Soprano. He's sure. gonna be like yeah, a yeah. background actor from The Sopranos. Yeah, yeah. So he's gonna look like so Trey Young. I mean, you gotta understand. If you, we just go to endocrinology a little bit, little tiny bit right here, he's a fucking absolute beast when it comes to being athletic yes okay so he's top tier one percent of the yeah, world yeah yeah okay so with that being said you look at the guys that are top tier vince carter lebron uh you know him jordan kobe near the end these guys are losing their hair because they have the genetic output for losing hair sure. and they have high ass testosterone because they're like premier athletes right it's funny because so, like all the guys you mentioned have been they they electively went bald a long, long time ago, like Jordan, LeBron did rocked it. the shape. No, no, not LeBron, but like Jordan rocked the shaved head for a he long time. He was bald, bro. No, no, but he rocked the shaved head 
since before people noticed that he was like actually bald. Someone like Durant right now. I don't now, think people back then actually. This is the problem with that. I I, I don't think people back then actually um, had enough insight into like we're talking about the eighties and nineties. I don't think they had enough insight to uh, MJ's life to be able to like even reconcile like okay this guy's going bald dude no 100 percent. that's wrong no way no i mean i watched this i watched the documentary as well people have been obsessed with baldness since the beginning of like forever i know that so but they're not they're not they're not looking at jordan saying okay let me skip over the fucking yesterday's stat line and let me go talk about this guy's hair well that's because we don't have tabloids like we do now that's what i'm saying Although, they didn't uh, have actually the- we do and we don't because like nowadays it's all digital media consumption and it's like quick mm-hmm. so Game happens, and the next thing you know, five minutes later on Instagram, there's a fucking crazy, like, you know, a three-page spread on whatever the fuck just happened. Yep. But back in the day, it'd be, like, at least a day or two turnaround because you have to wait for the fucking magazines right. or, like, the newspapers to publish. You're like, hey, no, Jordan going bald? More, you know, you know what I mean? Like, it yeah. is just different speed of, of which information travels. But people were people have been obsessed with hair for fuck knows how long. My dad's been bald since, you know, like, forever ago. And they people have always been about that, like, analyzing that for whatever reason since like he was a kid so he's just like Egh. that obsession people have with that i think has been a thing for, since forever but anyways what i noticed was funny is that yeah jordan decided to like rock the shaved head since like what early 90s uh early 90s, I think. way i think like because when he came on the league he 90 90 he started 89 or 90 he started rocking yeah rocking and then hard. um who are the other guys that you mentioned? You're like LeBron, LeBron, Jordan, Kobe, Vince Carter. Carter. Carter rocked it too early on. Er, yeah, like after 2000s uh, USA, he started rocking it, yeah. which is weird because he had actually a really thick hairline. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So which just, is weird. Some I guys think just, he's just voluntary. Just yeah. Um, but yeah, I think it's just uh, a matter of uh, significance of these guys being premier athletes with high testosterone and having the genetic output to having, you know. The DHT sure. testosterone going to their hairline and it's going back. But basically, w- w- what is Trey's options right now at this point? Trey's option, uh, shout out to Derek from uh, More Place, More, more Place, Dates. More Dates. <laughs> uh, check out his fucking thing. But you could basically do a blood test, see where you're at, see where your blood, uh, your DHT is, your free radical test, where it's going. Like, is it going to, yeah, you know, estrogen, whatever, whatever. But I guess the real question DHT. is, does he keep? And do what you're about to suggest. Listen, or this, does he guy, lose? this guy, this guy has has millions of dollars. Get 17 hair transplants, you fuck. Keep, keep or lose, because like this guy's in the middle of a playoff race. Do I just say fuck my hair and just like buzz that shit yesterday? Listen, you can't because they're making fun of him right now. So you got to rock it till the end this true, season. True, true. Then true. summertime, what you got to do is you got to get all your hormones correct. With with like you got a bunch of fucking what, money. It's why did you just like fucking just lose endless. the hair? Why, endless just, or just lose the hair? Because you got millions. That's why. He'll still have millions without the hair. I know, but you have millions. So why don't you just fucking get more hair? Another thing to worry about. Why do you have to worry about it? It's more time taken away from ball. He, I guarantee, you definitely takes like two to three weeks off ball. You'd need literally one day to take off ball and followed by like a week. And then after that, you're just like, it's just fucking scraping off. You know what? Next episode, we're going to call in Trey Young. We're going to call in Trey Young and be like, bruh, you got to make a choice now. Keep or lose. Keep or lose. Yeah, he's going to pick up, right? Fuck Hell yeah, he is, man. I, I don't know. Fucking... You want me to call him right now? No, man. Save it for later. <laughs> yeah. Let me let me not burst your fucking bluff. Okay, fine. Um, let's get morbid, son. Uh, you want to get morbid? I want to get a little bit morbid. You want to get real? Okay. I want to get a little bit morbid. Um, So where we live is like, vancouver ish bc yeah and uh apparently we don't have the full facts here we don't know who ran the school or anything but apparently oh uh, this yeah i heard about this earlier this 215 week. bodies have been discovered uh in a residential school i'm literally reading the fucking label uh for an indigenous uh children in canada so uh i guess the kids were indigenous they don't know yet the facts aren't clear I guess the school is indigenous, but we don't know who ran it from well, 1909 to like 1968. I mean, like, we don't we know do. who the fuck we who do. ran it. Well, okay. So do you know what a residential school is in general? Yes. Okay. So for the viewers that are uninformed and that aren't from the area, and, and to Armand, be fair, who's lying because he doesn't really know, <laughs> and even people who are actually from BC, some people, a lot of people, I didn't know this for a long time because yeah. they don't actually teach this in schools. For some weird reason, we just like to ignore the fact that this has ever happened. A lot of but stuff, but yeah. A residential school is essentially where the government would place indigenous children for schooling it's almost like it's basically segregation is yep. what it was um racial racial segregation for kids from the ages of i forget how young it went like three five, three to five all the way up to like basically end of high school 
Yep. And it was, they promoted it at the time. They're like, all right, this is going to be somewhere for you, you people to like, you know, get educated. It's going to be a good place. And man, it was. A, what do you mean you people? That's ex- exactly right. But it harbored like some fucking terrible shit. I mean, we're looking at bodies here, like a body count of 215, which is, to be fair, we don't actually know what happened. Like it might just be, it might've been a planned graveyard. I, I, I don't know. What the fuck? They're still investigating. I mean, they just uncovered these these bodies through like um they they scanned the ground for whatever reason. They found all these these bodies, but there have been numerous cases of published like, you know, abuse of children. You know, fucking like everything that you can imagine that's that you could that you could do terribly to a child has happened at these Hashtag residential Robert school. Picton. Yeah, and, like this kind of shit. Which, and, it's and, fucking dark, dog. And it was run by the government. Yep. And administered, I don't want to say by the government officials, but like by people employed through the government, essentially. Yeah, and selectively it was, government. And, and it is a way yeah. another way to to keep indigenous people in, in their place and to not cause any problems and to just keep them away from like the general population. So, fuck, so fucking just shit all around, honestly. Shit. And the fact that they uncovered this is like fuck. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's shit. Sometimes maybe good. And uh always never you know, maybe good. So here. you're telling me you're going to come to my land and you're going to take my land away. You're going to rape my fucking family. You're going to give us smallpox. You're going to give us drugs, make us alcoholic, throw our inhibition out. You're going to burn our fields, kill our people. Yeah. And then you're going to make my kids go to some dumbass school. Then they're going to get raped and killed there with no evidence and no fucking notes or nothing. Yeah, man. Trudeau, son. And, Trudeau. and the government denied that all of this shit took place for the who, longest who, time. Who did this? Like, wait, who denied it? Yeah. The government consistently. Like, when it would come up, be like, hey, did you guys ever, were you guys behind us? I'm like, no, no, we didn't. We weren't. God damn it. We weren't part of this. We, and they also never acknowledged the fact that these events ever took place. They'd be like, no, no, no. We only, uh, you know, built the schools and, and, and brought Fuck. the teachers. But there was no, there, 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 there have never been any cases of, of abuse or rape or, or uh, killings or anything. They never admit until, like, honestly, I think I want to say, like, about 10 years ago. Jesus Christ. After these places have been closed now for the last, like, 50 years, did they finally acknowledge that they're like, okay, you know what? Yeah, we fucked up. Not, like, we, because, you know. They're not going to say that. But the we from before. Yeah. And it's fuck. It's a tragedy all around, man. And I, I don't know how the fuck they're going to fix this, because they, they came up with, uh, there's something called the Truth and Reconciliation Council, yep. which is a government-appointed board to, like, investigate the causes and like the events that transpired and all this and to try and because you know reconciliation to try and reconcile with the yeah. fucking native population that got what happened to that ass fucked yep and it, it's still going on right now yep. right like they, they, they haven't really figured out a, a way because how do you say sorry for this you can't it's just like slavery man it's yeah like how do you how do you say sorry you, you, you don't say sorry to this shit man this no, is you terrible can't. you can't you, you can't be like can't. oh yeah sorry like we're all good right yeah it's so not like how uh, they fix this i don't know you can't. There's certain things you can't fix. And or like, how do you make better? Them. I don't know. Um, at this point, I mean, people have such a turnaround rate with like human life. Yeah. That at this point, I mean, there's no turnaround rate. I think an apology would be, you know, suffice. I think also, um, more background information will also be suffice. Yeah. Just like, give these people the respect that they deserve. More a land, three-year-old kid, money, bro. I don't a know. Three fucking I know. Year old, what the fuck can a three-year-old kid do that deserves to die? I, Shit, eat, cry, sleep. That's it. What the fuck in these four things can you find so much error that you kill this kid? I, I and like and I guarantee you the kid wasn't just killed. It was like brutally molested or something probably. like this. And then you know these things don't just. It's not like just some guy comes stab you on the forehead. Mm-hmm. It's not like Army of the Dead with Batista. On or, that no, fucking, or not? Or not? Oh, geez, you know what I mean? <laughs> that one fucking yeah, scene yeah, yeah, where yeah, he's yeah, stabbing yeah, yeah. his fucking yeah, wife. I saw that. I saw that. Um, but yo, uh, quick story. Uh, Batista was a scary ass fucking zombie guy, man. Remember in near the end? I don't know if you watched near the yeah, end. He eventually I turned. I watched the whole thing. Spoilers yeah. alert. Yeah. Fucking uh, guy fucking turns uh, zombies. Yeah. Scariest fucking guy. Six five two ninety, on the Sazul. Did you see you know him when, I mean? he, when he when he was at his saucy peak? Oh yeah, when he used to Back shake the, the fucking yeah yeah yeah, 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 fucking, yeah. Oh my uh, god, the Smackdown. Ropes? Yeah, yeah. Oh man, he had veins on his chest like that it was, was like vicarious veins or some shit. Scary, it was disgusting. Scary, man. I seen smaller veins on a seventy year old in a senior home with like standing for Jesus. thirty years on her feet. But uh, yeah. Um, speaking of drugs. Speaking of drugs, man. Uh, how do we see? 
this prediction in terms of our new outlook on cro- on the corona on the vaccinations essentially for the coronavirus. Well, do we want to be positive or do we want to be realistic? Listen, I want to stay on the positive side because yeah. we had positive vibes last weekend. Turned out to be decent. actually pretty decent. Decent. Let, let, let's let's keep at that. All right. So what this means, boys and girls, is that September we don't have to wear masks. So masks suck my dick. So that stock is gonna go down just like Bitcoin did. Um, so pull out now while you can. <laughs> um, secondly, uh, schools are probably gonna go back to normal. Yeah. Um, lots of stuff's gonna happen. There's some extra shit I want to talk about in the next segment, but yeah. we can leave it as. Um, Basically, things are gonna go start going back to normal quicker than we think. Quicker than we yeah. think, because I I predicted twenty twenty three. Yeah, dude, that was a by the looks of it. Take. I'm 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 holding on to that hot fucking take for this fucking reason. Mm. I don't trust the government. Fair enough. You know, and they say all this shit, and you know, because like they use Bonnie Henry is all over the fucking map, right? It's like she's just having periods every two days. It's just initially she told us no mask now mask now fucking sure. stay home stay home stay home stay home now fucking it's been a fucking year and a fucking bit so suck my dick on that shit um but who the fuck knows man who am i to fucking judge on pathology and what the fuck that's gonna happen yeah, yeah. but that being said man this is like good shit man mid-july it, what, what, what are the numbers are predicting like what is it five five mil oh. five five mil by end of summer are gonna get double dose so that means that's a big what? deal because what what's the population of BC like seven mil right? no it's five point seven or five point zero seven is that yeah. so yeah so th- they're oh, talking like the about adult population sorry yeah so they're talking about like actually I think the entire population I'm not sure how they no. do populous I mean it's, uh, it's, but you can't just take a census bro it's not uh, that hard hey we, I got, we just, I got, we just uh, fill them hold out. On. Do we have to fill that shit out? Yeah, you do. You can get uh, either five hundred bucks, find or some shit. Yeah. What kind of communist shit is do that? Do your dude? citizens' duty, motherfucker, and just do your fucking census. Fuck that, bro. You know, you know, in um, in uh, in the home country, you know, how, I don't know if they do this like the same way in in Iran, but over in Peru, and I, this is kind of a funny story I ran through with my buddy. They do it in person, door to door. I they, wouldn't mind that because I would definitely fuck with them. They have volunteers. They're, they'd be like, how big is your penis? I'd be like, yo, it's 16 inches. And they're like, all right, let's see. I'd be like, <laughs> you got to get on your knees and open your mouth. That's the only they're way like, it's coming out. They're like, listen, we're not here to, to feel. We just want to see it. Okay, but they have to do that. I'd be like, it's like a snake. It gets aroused and you need to be on your knees in a specific position with your butthole open for this okay. to happen. How do they do this in Iran? The same deal? Or do, how do they do census over there? They don't fuck. Yeah, give they a do. Fuck. Shut the fuck up. They you think census. they give a fuck? Bro, listen. A lot of the shit that's going on are just based on people keeping count of mortality rates. And listen, don't get into me with your reasons. No, no one gives a fuck about that. I'm just saying, do they do some kind of census in Iran? No, they actually don't because it's they don't have the reach to like reach a fucking village. What do you mean? You think? How the fuck do you think they do it in Peru? They got to go to fucking jungles, my guy. They got to go to the mountain to do some of these census reports. Yeah, people don't care that much in Iran. I don't know. You know anything about this? I know definitely for a fact. There's no se- consensus or what is it oh called? Oh my god, census. census. Census can suck my senses. All right, you know what? Listen, okay. Well, I'm, we're gonna look into this. Statistics, another- okay, in Iran are definitely skewed. I can guarantee you this because there's lots of stuff that is just news today. If you f- like Google stuff about Iran and then you call Iran like I can. And fucking Just call Iran. <laughs> yeah, like call my cousins and shit that are like mid. Yeah, sure. Live in the middle of the biggest city and be like, hey, was there a fucking revolution today? Yeah, yeah. And they'd be like, no, motherfucker. I just went to my mom's house and scratched my balls for 20 minutes. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You can find out the truth, right? Sure. To a to a degree. Now, have I in 27 years, have I ever heard of them fucking walking around and be like, hey, um, how do you feel about this? Topic. That's no, not bitch. what a census is, okay, motherfucker. But, first okay, of all, <laughs> okay, they come around and be like, "Hey, how many people live here?" Yeah, that's basically. No, it. they don't fucking do that shit, cause, like, bro, people move from house to house every day. Listen, over there. I understand what you're saying, but you're talking to me as if I don't understand that, because that is the same shit in Peru. I know it's not I some think, sort of like first that, world country that's that, like super developed okay, and like all this other is, shit. Peru, I think, actually, isn't as corrupt. As Iran, it's I pretty think, corrupt. Though. I think Iran is one of our presidents. Really corrupt. Went to, he's fucking hiding out in Argentina right now because of war crimes. Who? Look, look, pull this up right now. 
We'll get into it for like five minutes. All right. Ah, uh-huh, yeah, yeah. Now you're interested. Ah, uh-huh. criminal, Look up criminal. I'm Fu- down. Fujimori. That was one word, one word. And M-O-R-I. Yeah, Alberto. My boy, Alberto. How the fuck do we know this guy? He's, what? It's a president of Peru, you fuck. I know, but I, he's not one of our boys. <laughs> I, I thought I got excited because I thought you were like talking about one of our friends. I was like, no, man, no, no, well no. Well done, I, sir. I said, I said one of the presidents. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So he's in the, uh, he's in the, uh, he looks Chinese, bro. He's Japanese. And he's the Peruvian president? Yeah, yeah. That We'll get into this topic in another day because it's actually pretty interesting. Hold the fuck on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me the short side of this. This is more interesting than there, the rest of the shit. There is a very, very large Chinese and Japanese immigration popu- like population in, in, in Peru. Okay, for hold various on, reasons. Hold on, hold on. That I know that because in Brazil there's the same thing and there For different reasons though. Yeah, but whatever it might be. Um whether it's because of war, because of whatever sure. immigration, whatever. One, one of the largest Chinatowns in the entire world is in Lima. Yeah, actually. same with Cuba. That was a big one there too. Until 1959, apparently was one of the biggest ones. Well, that's like 50 years ago. I'm talking like until recently. I know that, it was but like I'm saying, it's like I'm San saying, Fran. You see the same the, thing happening in, in other Spanish countries. Is my point. yeah, I guess. But Peru, Peru is unique. Like you don't see this in Ecuador. You're just you don't... saying this because you're from Peru. No, because I've been to South America, unlike you. Okay, well, dude, can <laughs> and you I blame have friends me? from South America. I got criminalities. Leave you me alone. It. So, like, Ecuador doesn't have this phenomenon. Neither does Bolivia. Neither does like Chile, mm, really. Mm, but so, mm. okay, the, so the, they can vote on on an immigrant. Of course, yeah. yeah. Wow, America, well, catch up. Well, because like you can do. What does immigrant mean? You, cause he well, was, this guy isn't a born citizen. I think he was actually. Go go back to his like his, uh, fucking. His daughter's actually running for president right now. They got the runoff elections in a couple of weeks. Yeah, he was born in Lima. Oh wow. Yeah. So, so anyway, he speaks like fully fucking. Oh, dude. Yeah. There, there, there's there's a couple of uh, Peruvian restaurants here in Vancouver. The owners are Chinese, because they're Chinese Peruvians, mm. and they speak like perfect Spanish. Peruvian. Spent. Spanish. Peruvian. Uh, but anyways, the long short is yes. He is a Japanese descent uh, Peruvian who got elected. You never see a Wisconsin-Milwaukee. Yeah, some of these guys are really ed- <laughs> educated. But what, what, I don't know about Wisconsin-Milwaukee being super educated. One, one, I just think uh, one of the, it's uh, odd that he studied in A, a lot of these guys go to the States for, for university wow. degrees because um, there's a lot of like scholarships that get offered to Peruvians. Okay. Not a lot, but like a few. Yeah. And so guys will like fight for it. One, one of the ex-presidents. Hey, hold on, hold on. Between what you're saying. So you think this guy sponsors this guy thinking it's going to be like some Latin guy? And it turned out to be some, like, some fucking Japanese guy on the Oh, plane? no, no, no. Because you can see his <laughs> name. Yeah, they're like Fuji more. Like, that's pretty uh, fucking obvious. Like, what but the fuck? One of the other ex-presidents of Peru, his name's, uh, I think it was Toledo. He uh, went to Stanford. Mm. Some of these guys were like pretty... Well, like, Educator, whatever, right? Yeah, but, but anyways, have ties as well. Might be it. Fujimori got. Uh, I if you look up really quickly on Wikipedia, because I don't want to say shit that's wrong, but it's either he got tried and arrested or like exiled. I think it's exiled. Um, yeah, right there. Scroll up a bit. Just it's in his summary. Yeah, right there. Uh, 2017. Oh, he, yeah, he got pardoned. Granted, uh, uh, 79 Fujimori mm. a humanitarian pardon. He lucky bitch. A pardon was overturned by Pruis. They're corrupt, uh, man. It's Pruz, some uh, shit Supreme Court on the 3rd of blah, blah, blah. Ordered back to prison on 23rd of January 2019. Fujimori was sent back yeah, to prison yeah, yeah. to complete his sentence with his pardon uh, being formally annulled three weeks later. At uh, So he just went to prison for three weeks. Out after being in there for like nine years, ten years, because it was in, in 20, 2009. Under proving law, all sentences are on maximum. Anyways. So. Proving president got sent to Australia. At, at one point, he was exiled. He 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 left. I think he dipped to like Argentina or something. And then they, they had to like Is send his daughter him back. hot or no? Not really. She's running for president right now. Actually. Nope, wrong. Kenji. Oh, not the daughter. Keiko is uh, and she's currently running. Yeah. I mean, not terrible, not not the point of the conversation. But the only thing that I was saying, the whole point of this, the, how we got here was I was like. It's really funny how they do the census in Peru because it's door to door. And I remember going through this literally with a friend of mine, uh, with our boy, actually. We went to Peru to travel and to see the sites, all the shit. We had no idea they were running the census that year. Mm. And so what they do for the census is when they're running it in their whatever, like a couple days that they do it. Yeah. I'm not allowed to leave the house. Can't do anything. Wow. So you got to stay in place. So we had plans to go see Machu Picchu, to go travel, like all this stuff. And then like, oh, yeah, census on the weekend. So you got to actually stay in. Can't do shit. Can't go anywhere. And I'm like, fuck. God damn it. Yeah. But anyways, uh, back to the original, original. So it looks like we're in a good place. 
we're in a good place. We're feeling good. Yeah. We're feeling hot. You Super know what hot. I mean? Um, we got vibes in the background, but you won't hear it because uh, YouTube is a piece. So now, based on how the fact that this looks like it's going to be cleared up yep. by like September, like let's assume that. Yep. What do we think about? Or what do you think about how this is going to look like in general going forward? Because now it looks like we're actually pretty close to that next normal or that, or that, that next step in yeah. whatever this transition is. Yeah. Do, you, uh, do we want to go into the video or do we want to just talk about it? Just talk about it. So we, okay. we, we, we uh, so, I guess I'll just say it. We, yep. we both watched a video by this guy called Peter. Th I think it's Thiel or Thiel. Um, Keep talking. I'm going to bring some stuff. Who was a partner of Elon Musk back in the day with like PayPal and all stuff. So he's, a, he's like a big time investor now. He's got billions of dollars and he made, he made his bank back in the PayPal days. But basically, the video talks about what his views and opinions are on uh, this potential new transition we have into the new normal that people have been talking about for so long. So the idea being that will some of these old institutions that have existed for a long time either fundamentally change or go away? Uh, at one point, the video talks about how you know you got people to paying fifty thousand dollars a year for university tuition to get a zoom education and that seems a bit strange because why are you paying that much to just get a fucking online degree easily charge a tenth of that or, or whatever and and then the video kind of goes on in, in terms of like what current people's outlooks are and what they want in this next step because right now everyone's most people are working like i'm kind of half and half right now but most people are working from home most people are doing that uh they're at their school not me motherfucker yeah okay not you motherfucker but most people are doing some schooling from home and and we've, we've touched on this in podcasts before, but now that yep. it's getting close and it's getting like, it's, it's going to be probably a real thing pretty soon. It's just interesting to see, to see about what this will actually look like going forward. And I know that at one point he also makes a contention that the idea of like the big city lifestyle may not be a thing anymore because a lot of the incentives that people... Telecommunication. Yeah. A lot of the incentives that people look forward to in these big cities aren't really as an incentive as, as much as they were before. Mm -hmm. So... I mean, I don't actually fully agree with some of the things that he said because he's like, you know, these metro regions like the, your Toronto's, your New York's, your your whatever. It's not going to be as much of a as a draw to people because why are you going to pay an absurd amount of rent to live in some piece of shit apartment yep. just so you can be in that big city when you can, you know, spend that money Wisconsin. Get, yeah, get a bigger place, do all these other things, but a couple thousand acres. Personally, you can when I listen to this guy, you can very much tell that he's an investor because how the way that he talks about things is very not just factual, but very money based and broad based. But he's I, he's I, I, he, one thing I gotta say is like guys like this are emotionless. I was yeah, thank you for saying that. I was just gonna get into Cyborgs. that. Cyborgs. I think he ignores the human aspect of a lot of the things that he talks about. So yeah. he 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 kind of overlooks a lot of things that no longer matter to him. But Stuff. these guys, these guys aren't the type of guys that are, are going to be in like Venice. These guys aren't the type of guys that are going to be partying. Not in only Florida that, it's just or like New York or oh, stuff like that. Oh. They're fucking. They're, they're like our buddies, you know, fucking introverted more guys. So, no, no, more like le even way way more. I know that, but I'm saying though. I'm saying we are, like I, you are more introverted compared to me, and our buddies are introverted compared to us. And this guy is even more introverted compared to our buddy. Sure. So he's not going to be like, oh, let me go to the party scene. Like, you're, this is the last guy you're going to see there. You know what I mean? He is about investments, properties, you know, sure. uh, sales, income, revenues, all that shit. So, of course, he's going to say it. To a point, I think he's correct. I think he's also trying to push people in a certain way. Yes. Just yeah, like you can, Elon, you can feel that. Elon you can is. You can feel that for sure. Um, with, with that Bitcoin shit, that was a push and a pull. Yeah, yeah. Once he had. It at 79, everybody's fuck. It's going up, going up, going up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All, all my retarded buddies that are like mechanics and fucking CNC workers and machinists and shit. Even those guys are fucking into fucking. They don't have Facebook. And it's they, fucking they, mainstream yeah. as fuck. Yeah, yeah. So they're going in. I never got in because I know it was hocus pocus. Uh, yes and no. It is hocus pocus. What when, is hocus pocus? If you don't go in the beginning, it's hocus pocus. Sure. But when like, is that, when like is that beginning? Three years, two years ago, if I went into it, I'd be paying 27 grand. Sure. And it'd be at 79 G's and I'd be like, oh, it's keep going to go up. And then Elon's going to pull out. I'm going to get 44. Now, do I still win? Yes. But that 27 G's is held up yeah. there. Right. So that being said, this song is just putting me off my mood, bro. Uh, that 27 grand is held up. Sure. So, you know, you know about this, you're a sales guy. So yeah. you, you don't want revenue held up there if 
if it's only producing so much money when you can actually pull it out at the right time. Now, uh, hold on a second. I think that that, that, that that's a f- weird way to conceptualize an investment. Okay, I understand that. but So you're saying you don't want it locked in if you can't pull it out. Is that what you're saying? You can pull it out. That's what it's, saying, not yeah, my, can. it's not my so, point. No, what was, my what? point is, is this. It's 27 grand that you could probably invest into the long run of Bitcoin isn't good. The lo- Oh, Bit- no, no. Bitcoin is like here and now and sure. wait and sell. That's sure. that's the guideline of but Bitcoin. But it, it is a way of making money. I understand yeah, that. It is. But a guy like us, we're trying. You bought a house. Everybody's trying to buy a house. Me, you know, you guys bought apartments and stuff. I'm not really down for apartments. Sure. But let's say I was. Mm-hmm. That 27 grand would definitely come in handy. Yeah. Right now, um, long term investments. Would you rather put 27 grand in Bitcoin? Oh yeah, no, or no, no, you no, no, put no. 27 grand no. and buy a house. Me personally, long term investments, I would say house for sure. So that being tied up and you thinking about it and stressing it, there's like videos on Vine and how it goes up 12,000, comes down 7,000, goes up 20,000, comes down like 30,000. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. these things, they're not something it's fun while it's going, yeah, yeah, but because it's so fast and reluctant on like stability, yeah, it's hard to really put it in terms i mean if you're a winner of it great good for you like you said you had a buddy that yeah, said yeah. some shit he's always winning or whatever so that guy probably bought at like 500 bucks or whatever let's say but he's winning but that being said i think this uh peter guy he's probably pushing something he's he's probably pretty close to what's gonna happen as far as it not going back as soon as we think things no longer being able to go back they're steered a different direction now. I think, to a certain degree, I think. Yeah, th- there's some things that that he said that I agree with. Some of the some of his takes, and some of them that I I'm, I'm not I'm not convinced of just yet because I just don't see it in the sense. I think of, he's pushing pushing a certain way. Definitely. If you take that push away, I think the rest of the stuff that he's saying is fairly correct. There are. He seems like he thinks about it a lot too, man. Like Probably. Yeah, yeah. He, he doesn't he, seem like he's just blurring shit out. No, like no, no. Charlemagne the God or Joe oh. Rogan. Like, you know what I mean? Oh, like, shit, dude. He's, cause he's got, like, fucking billionaire investor. No fucking I know shit. that. But, I, you know, like, when you see Elon's podcasts or, like, Elon anything, is not a billionaire investor. He's just a billionaire for other things. But, like, these investors, I guys, understand that. Different, different mindset that they have. Yes, but the thing that I could say that is similar is that they take time to process information. For sure. And try to repair any kind of conversation because they're thinking about this in like 15 terms right it can go this way this way this way this way this way this way so if you look at guys like that like elon more so than this guy yeah but still like these guys are like miles ahead of like regular thinkers Mm -hmm. you know what i mean that's why they are where they are you know they're they see things coming that would never come yes and no because these guys also get a lot of shit wrong not to say that they're wrong. Yeah, like, but like I'm more not, right than us. Yes and no. Just because you have extreme success in one area does not mean that all of a sudden you're just right about everything that you say. No, no, so it's, it's not. If, but if, but if you, that ability to be good in one area is something that 99% of people lack. Sure, but... People can't specialize. I understand, but that, that's not, that, that doesn't go against what I just said because I'm saying... If you're if you're a super high profile investor or I'm agreeing with you though or, I'm not yeah, saying yeah. I'm not saying hey, so you're wrong I, I guess what I'm saying is just to watch out for people that just you know when they say something you disagree is like oh yeah let's, go, let's just agree with it right away because some of these people do that a is lot that marriage yeah put them on yo Are you still hell yeah you're you're live on the podcast say, yeah say what's bitch up. what's up say what's up <clears throat> can you bring me something to drink when you yeah, okay, sure. Anything else? <laughs> Yo, what kind of bitch made shit is this? Did you lose a bet? Yes. Yeah, what else do you want to say on the podcast? <laughs> wow, dude. Yo, your boy Jokic is going to uh, go up to the next round, but he's going to lose like a bitch. Oh, I want to try something. Pl- yeah. Oh, plug it in. Hold on. We're, we're, uh, I want to see if here, this works. Here, 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 here. Yo. Yo, can you, can you hear us? Wow. <laughs> okay, this is cool. Shout out. Yo, yo, talk to us a little bit, you fuck. I know it's, you're not doing dick all Yeah, it's okay. You don't have to be you're not on a hike. This we, guy always says some shit we, about being on a hike, 
being on thing. Let me give this motherfucker proper introductions. One of the reasons I went to software was because I wanted to do a podcast, and the other reason was because uh, uh, marriage kind of convinced me one way or the other uh, involuntarily. Shout out to marriage. So, shout out to marriage. Marriage, what do you think, man? What's going on with this uh, playoffs, you fuck? What's going on? What the fuck? Did we lose? Did we, yo, can you hear us? I think we just lost our boy. We lost our boy, do we? We either lost us or he, either we lost him or he lost us. Or he lost interest. Or he lost interest. Oh. Hello? Take it out, put it back in. Yeah, maybe. Yo. Oh, there we go. This is Chagabashlu. Can you hear us now? Oh, okay, sweet. What, uh, Arma, Arma was just asking, what, do you, what are your playoff takes right now? How do you see this going? Do you see, do you see all the purebreds making it through or what? All, all the way? way? All oh. the way to where? <laughs> Port Coquitlam? Where is he going? You think so? I do. So you think you think fucking Jokic is going where? Ta- no, it can take it out because that, that means conference, conference, conference finals. finals. Conference Jokic finals, is... and then what? Well, then Doncic is going to the finals. Oh yeah, and then the Nets are gonna make it out of the East. Yo, dog, your boy and... Doncic is losing hair, son. I don't think he is. And then, uh, well, he's got a peak. I don't think he cares when he's just no. He's a billionaire. He doesn't fat give a fuck. Facts. Fat stacks on bitches, bro. How famous is this guy in Serbia? Well, he's not from Serbia. He's Where is he? Slovenian, but... Oh, but uh, Slovenia, Slomavia, you know, all the same. Fuck. It's like being famous in Iraq. Okay. You're famous in Iran, you know? Is that how it works? Oh, yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. You, you, got okay. a, you got a fucking red fucking Persian carpet. Everybody knows you. Come on, son. All but right. They, can you just bring me some refreshments? Sorry. Sure. What Thanks. are we going to see on this podcast, my guy? Sorry? When are we going to see you on this podcast? We gotta get you to shave your hair, son. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. When are you ready, bro? I got some dandruff, anti-dandruff shampoo if you Ooh. need it. You know, I'll clean you up nice and tight, bro. I give you even a, a shave on those uh, eyebrows, those those fucking fluctuous eyebrows, right? You got right there. You know, uh, what I mean? I'll pass on the eyebrow shaving. Um, yeah, I'll see. We'll catch you soon, bro. Maybe we'll soon. catch you soon, bro. Okay, Good hearing from you, man. Bye. Bye. All right, peace. Bye. That was interesting. That actually worked. Yeah. Uh, we got to fix this cord, though. Other than that, um, that was good. That was. We have to drop the. Yes, the input. we yeah, got to yeah. drop that way down. Actually, yeah, that means that means the beginning didn't get caught. It's okay. Uh, the beginning was it's, fucking it's whatever. S- fucking rough. Anyway, anyway, uh, put that down on the fucking podcast notes. We got to get one of those. This. Oh yeah, yeah. We'll do. We'll do. Um. Okay, moving on. Uh, Ellen Page. Spark up for this shit, Jesus. <laughs> Say no more, my man. Say less. Say less. Say less. Um, this uh, I don't know what what what's the gender here. <laughs> I don't want to get this wrong, man. Uh, Elliot, just go by Elliot. Elliot, yeah. Okay, Elliot Page, uh, uh, a new uh man with uh. Uh, he had For, formerly known as Ellen Page. Yeah, so, so most people uh, have known. So Elliot. let's look up Ellen Page real quick. People might not know who this. is. You know, is. it's funny if you Google that, it's not going to show up as Ellen. It's going to be it's going to be Elliot Page that you look up. There you go. Autocorrects. Wow. So this girl literally turned. That that was wow. Remember? Yeah, yeah. She was hot. Decent, at least. Um. All right. Well. I guess that's no more. Elliot did uh, quite a few movies back. I don't think he acts anymore. They used to a long time ago. Well, those abs act. So what happened? Do you know anything about this? I have actually no idea how this... you got to explain this to me. Whether it's like SARM, SARMs, fucking whatever. Okay, fuck. boys and girls. We're going to go Jesus dark Christ. hole in this rabbit, bro. This is a glory hole. Okay? It's a glory hole into fucking SARMs and fucking... Yeah, give me some of that, man. DNA this splitting. Place. Jesus. Okay. Um, so basically this, this girl, once girl, I don't want to, uh, you know, offend anybody. I'm just trying to say a girl literally went and had their tits removed and I'm guessing they went on some type of hormones and, uh, they got 
fucking abs. So these abs, if you look closely, they kind of look weird. They don't look... They're too symmetrical. Not that they're too symmetrical. They just... A are, guy are, like that... Are they, are they implants? They are. Oh, they are. Yeah. So a guy like that will never have those hard rock abs. Like, it just doesn't... It doesn't symmetrically fit the physique. Now, are they symmetrical? Yes, they are. But does it fit the physique? No. Because you would have to have some type of athletic background to get to have, the abs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Especially those, those type ones. of abs. Yeah, that's what like, I'm saying. Those kind of like developed abs thick. do not match the person that it's on. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. Um, but do I hate on it? I mean, no. I think uh, you know, it's it's too bad. But not that it's too bad. But it's a shame to me when hot girls do that. But if that's what you want. Like if you're not if you're like lesbian, you're literally out of my league, right? So I mean, most girls out of your league, but okay. Okay, well, whatever. But what I'm saying <laughs> is, you're no longer. I no longer can do anything about it. Yes. So it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really care at that point. So it's like, if you want to turn into a man, whatever, turn into a man. If that makes you happy, great. But uh, I would want to know like full blood panel for her or him now, versus what he used to be. When you say it used to be like before the transition or like after, because he's definitely on some before, mid, dirt like during yeah, yeah. transition and now. I, like, I I I am kind of aware, but I know that the hormonal like all the drugs that they take or that they have to take for during this transition, even after. What do they have to take? Are intense, man. What so, do they have to take? Tell me. Tell me. What take, I think I, dude, I, I'm talking up straight on my ass here. I hope we can just Google some of the stuff so I don't look like a fucking idiot, but. I know they get like. I'll correct you if you're trans if you're transitioning into a into a guy. You gotta go on heavy test, like heavy. Well, that's all you're taking, right? Yeah. So you're taking test and you're taking some uh, AI and Novadex, not to get gyno again, because you know. Yeah. If you're a girl initially, you're gonna have higher receptors than men. Yeah. To have gyno, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. So you know if she's taken out or he took took out his tits, and so he's gonna have susceptibility to that. And you can just tell by his like muscle features now. This guy is like a skinny, skinny dude. Almost but he's, star- he's starting to get um some delt receptors in there. Those well, were not yeah, there before, but yeah. that's I mean, it's really hard to tell from any any of the pictures out there. Uh, it doesn't look like any delt receptors right now. Uh, that looks like a bone. Uh, <laughs> no, but like there, there, there's some like look. there's caps. Yes, yeah, yeah. But, Dude, <laughs> no, I'm talking. I know, there, but like okay, I'm if saying- I was on if I if me if. I, I was on what he is on right now. I guarantee you I'd be pushing 225. No shit, but you didn't start off as a woman. <laughs> I know that, but what that's, I'm saying what is I'm saying. he he is on a lot of stuff. Yeah? Oh, yeah, for like, sure. Like, we're talking close to bodybuilder dosage. I don't possibly. know about that. I don't know about that. We're not talking like 50 mil, uh, like because one and a half here, grams. We're talking like you have to, 500 milligrams you have, plus. You have to remember that for the bodybuilders, is a choice to enhance certain things about them. Like, whether you're a guy trying to you know, be more or whether you're a, a girl bodybuilder. Okay. Let me, let me explain one thing. Well, let me explain one thing before you say anything, because I'm forgetting to switch this. So I just want to sure, say this sure. thing and then switch on to you. A regular man between the ages of 15 to 20, which is end of adolescence into adulthood yeah. has anywhere from the equivalent of hundred to 150 milligrams of test a week. Now that's what I'm guessing this person takes. And because that they are, um, used to be a woman, they probably need even less. Now, pound for pound, he probably weighs 70 pounds. So 70 pounds, not 70 pounds. But I like know what you're saying. 110 pounds, I know 120 pounds. Sure. 150 to 100 grams or 100 milligrams of test a week. On and that they, size body. That yeah. size body is like me at 210 taking, you know, 300 400 that's past trt doses yeah right so now i'm at super physiological levels right so now i have to take ais now i have to look at other shit now i have to think about my hair now i have to think about my liver so are they doing this like these transgender stuff yeah i know it's under a doctor's watch but the doctors all these doctors know all these results because a lot of these drugs are still under research a lot of these drugs they don't know anything about they don't have long-term studies because the FDA, they don't have actual studies on humans, so they don't know how it works. I think they, they may have, because this has been a thing for a very long time now. Yes, test. Yes. Aside that, your prolactin, progesterone, I'm talking about estrogen. the procedures and the, the recipes that these people are under have have been done for a now, long time now. Have we not seen a lot of 
uh, suicides. I don't know if that's linked uh, to the I, drugs or not. I don't know if he's going to say that. That, that. That's a whole other fucking... Anyways, what I was going to say is that their, their, their routine that they have to be on, like their, um, their regimen, right. is done with a different like idea in mind because they understand that they're in this for life. Like you're transitioning into another sex with the idea of that. that What's the percentage of these people doing this? Um, in ter- in terms of like who identifies and then who actually goes through this whole thing. Yeah. Uh, it's not as high as you think. It's low because this this is a fucking like uh, this is a big this deal. Is irreversible. It's a big deal. It's it's a huge. It's commitment literally irreversible for a few for for a, more than a few reasons. Once one, your jaw grows, you're done. One is um. The mental aspect, the mental commitment that you're gonna that you're gonna do on this. The other is monetary. This shit ain't cheap, and especially in the states, it's a, you're, you're paying for all this shit yeah, out of pocket almost. Most of these people are either connected. we're not talking we're not talking yeah. about famous people, yeah, bro. Okay. Think about like regular people. That yeah, do this. okay, fair. Yeah, like regular people that identify as whatever. And there's no health care over there, and you can't even insure this. Give me two more. Don't tell me what to do, but yeah, uh, they, they have to go through a lot, and so it's it's a huge commitment. So not as many transgenders as you think will actually go through the whole process of being a transsexual whether actually go through the whole gender reassignment therapy so i don't understand what does it mean transsexual Me- transsexual means you're actually physically going from one sex to another so you're physically turning from a man to transitioning a- from sexualities f- from that's what I'm saying, sexes so a sex okay, is right. male or female okay gotcha. terms, like the physical sex that you gotcha right so no the light and then the gender is just like, you know, this new age, you know, what you identify as because, you know, even though you're right. physically uh, Nothing whatever. Nothing to do with biology at all. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. not. It's just, you know, how you, basically how you feel. So yeah. percentage of transsexuals that exist out of people that are originally just transgender is not that high. Are you talking about yes? Because we're going to get flagged for this. That community is heavy. Yeah, you're right. That community is heavy. I do. I can say for sure. Retract everything. No, guys. no, no, no. Not retract. retract not retract everything. everything. No, no. Just, yeah, you're right. I should be careful with what I say. But be I careful. Have, I have been told certain things because I, I do have some friends who are transgender, and I know friends of friends who have been through the actual the whole reassignment, male to female, yeah. female to male, and of the people that I that have been, that have told me about this whole like gender reassignment therapy right. all that stuff, it's heavy shit. Yeah. For a lot of it, like in the mental aspect. The like I said, the monetary aspect, it's a big deal. And so not everyone's cut out for it. And you know, you don't have to, right? Yeah. Because there are some people that even do like partial. So like if you're transitioning from Yo, smoke that weed. If you're trans well come on, man. Like I'm talking at the same time. I know. Time. Take a puff, talk. Yeah, they're transitioning. I I, I I see what you're saying. Uh you got some points, but what I think is uh is interesting is that these people actually have um transgender studies which I think in f- the future, like personally, I'd be interested in if they have an actual culture, like like actual universal culture, like Iranians do. Dude, from a learning aspect of things, I would want to learn. Shit it. Is super interesting. I would want to like, learn. So it. interesting. Like, yeah. you don't have to. And what I mean is, you don't have to agree with this to to learn about it. And I think a lot of people get that shit twisted because because they're like, oh, you have to. It's like, no, but. The, there's a huge aspect of this that is just amazing to learn from, from a an information understanding point of view. So yeah. I agree with you there. Like, yeah, it'd be great to just like go through the whole thing, like from a from a straight facts perspective. Yeah, I think people people eventually are gonna are yeah. gonna do this. One thing I saw in Rogan this week what was interesting was he was saying that there's points in history and and artifacts, not artifacts, but like points of research that has come up in digging up historical uh information from the past yeah, how yeah, it was yeah. written down and whatever most of these um civilizations they're uh kind of dead end to their civilization where the civilization completely fell and just sure. was never heard of again was um gender what do you mean the topic of gender w- became the main point of a civilization became the loudest voices Can you was give an example? gender um uh, well, any just I, any examples i mean i'm talking out of my ass i'm just talking about something i listen to like 50 per, at, on 50 percent because this reminds me of something else in terms of like what masculine so they basically they basically uh went you know, you're good, you're good. uh went to um gender focused on gender like the same thing that's going on now sure similarly has happened relatively different but 
close to what that civilization and how complex it was, the people generally went towards gender as that's the most important idea or that's the most important thing to spend their time on. I'd just be interested to like see that. Like if you could point out any example, because I, one of my, not some people that I, that I talk to know about this, but I, I have a, I spend a lot of my free time studying history. It just to me, it's just super interesting. I, I love learning about human history and ancient civilizations, kind of modern civilizations as well. But like in like uh, in the uh, like AD period, like after the two thousands, whatever. But uh, I have a huge inter- interest for for history. You know, so. you don't care about BC. No, that's what I said. Ancient. So when I say ancient history, I go BC. So like my my favorite topic. To learn about I thought you said AD history. I I do a bit of that, but my. F- I'm saying I do both. I do yeah. I do the ancient history, so BC, and then also a bit of AD. Not as much. Most of it's like ancient because I have a huge passion for, for myself personally, like ancient Greek history. Is I find it like super super interesting. But anyways, Greek. Yeah, because they they, they are they are the cornerstone for a lot of what Western civilization. Did is somebody modern. say, shit? <laughs> the um, <laughs> you motherfucker. But yeah, they they they're the cornerstone for a lot of what Western civilization models their stuff on, like democracy. First example of that was in Athens. Uh, the aspect- you know what else was in Athens? Yeah, you, you relax. You t- t- we'll, we'll talk about the ass- anal rape. We'll talk about the ass eating later. But <laughs> the aspect of like history comes from rape. ancient Greece. Yep, rape has happened since like people were people had dicks and vaginas. So you know, it was actually we, going to sexuality in Greece. Uh, it was uh, it was common for older men to date. Or fuck, like kind of like mistress they, wise, they, they, young boys. Yes, they had no. It's y- yes and no. So I've actually Tell looked into this. this. Yeah, you looked into it. Tell me about because it. Because it, it was a there's like a whole Interest. aspect of sexuality in Greece in terms of like right. prostitution that we now consider well, well that we now consider prostitution. So like an interesting thing about prostitution back in the, back in the ancient Greek days, you had you had uh, and I, I don't know if I've, I may have actually mentioned this to you before. You had aspects of you had you had levels of prostitution. You had your reg- your, reg- your regular street level hookers Oof. or street level hoes yep. that anybody could get. Yep. You just had to go to the area alley cat. and do the That's thing. That's what they call them, alley cats. And you even had like, and there was levels to that too. So you had like obviously like your fucking cheap ass like lot lizards, Big Mac level street street hooker, lot or you lizards. got your fucking like the keg level, but she's still a street hooker. And then server slut. There was something called the hetera, and they were more like modern day escorts. But the cool thing about the Hetera was that they, as much as you chose them, they chose you. But so just because you, you pay, yes. So she fooled you, really? No, because it's it's all it's all understood beforehand. There's no secrets about this, but it's a fact of like. I got one question. Just because you just because you want her doesn't mean you will get her. So that, oh. so that so that was really interesting with the Hetera. Is that yes, they this is had, also interesting what's th- going on right they now. They had to choose you as much as you chose them. Yeah, not everybody could get them, and but they were considered much much better because it was basically like the girlfriend experience of what mm. we consider hook like some hookers now. Yeah, but back then, yeah, but anyways, GFE as as we call it, New Age twenty twenty one GFE experience. Um, my question is is like how was their hygiene because like better than you think. Really? Also, did they shave bush another, like in the fucking maintained it? Not not shaved. No one shaves back in the day. But like, yeah, true. What do you obviously. mean? How do they maintain? It? Like they have? Do they have scissors back then? Don't lie. Yeah, they had shears. Um, they also had like other ways of people cut their hair back then, man. It's not like they just. Let I know, it grow but out. so they just like literally like if this is. The Don't bush, get distracted. Don't get distracted, please. They I was pull... gonna mention some few other interesting parts of ancient Greek history and why it's amazing. The other thing is too, modern medicine comes from. Uh, from ancient Greece. Yeah, yeah, that's all great, Danny. But tell me, how did they shave the bush? There's no, no, no one talks about that. That was not some, some hygiene was. Nobody hygiene, wants to talk hygiene about hygiene was stuff. important. Listen, okay, nobody wants to talk about real you, you stuff. Everybody's about that fake superficial shit. You're an idiot. <laughs> anyways, anyways, so yeah, some modern man. So, so when it comes to what you were just talking about, the sexual, the the fucking bush. older man. No, 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 no. Before that, but the older men Old with man the younger dating, yeah, yeah pedophiles. So, Sexuality also back in the day was interesting because uh, they were a monogamous society in terms of partners. Like if you had a partner, you had a partner. Like your wife was your wife. Okay, but how's that monogamous if you fucking... Because in that sense, it was monogamous, unlike in other civilizations and cultures where you could have multiple wives. 
Okay, so Cubans are like this too. There's like there's there's Cubans that you don't just say Cubans. Just no, no, no. <laughs> there's there's a religion. Uh, I remember. Yeah, you met, we yeah. we talked about so, some of our earlier. So podcasts. these guys, yeah, yeah. in the ba- in earlier podcast, um, the men that were all white, all the, yeah, the whole yeah, week, yeah, yeah, okay? yeah, 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 like the top line Yoel Romero looking motherfuckers. Because people don't think this, but like Cuba, like I like. They actually have really good genes. Like their gene yes, pool is yeah, fairly yeah. good. Yeah. Uh, they're fucking in every sport. Uh, so that being said, a lot of those guys look like fucking Yoel if you're doing MMA. So they, if they're part of this religion and they're hard, yeah, they're like walking prophets. Okay. And you'll have gay dudes that will blow them, but this is their mentality. They'll be like, he sucked me off. Sure. So I took his manhood. So yeah. That is that's to- kind of like the rap game. Totally unlike ancient Greece. So just to f- wrap this topic yeah. up, the older man, younger man relationship back in the ancient Greek days yep. was surprisingly one down out of respect. And I'll, and I'll explain this because it sounds really fucked up. You're like, this what do you mean fucked. respect? It was not something like what people think of now. Because you, you just, you say what, what Armand just said earlier, you say that now, that's just straight up pedophiles like there's no other way around it. subway in in in, in in the society we live in now there's no way to describe that other than saying that as a pedophilic relationship that's it back then though it was different because there wasn't an aspect of like molestation it's not like older men were preying on young men and fucking them it was more of if you had a teacher let's say you were studying the arts let me finish let's say you were like st- studying how to fucking play the harp and your mentor was an older man, because there's that level, there was already a relationship established there and one of also respect in terms of, you know, you look up to him because he's your mentor. Yeah, you blow him time to time. No, seriously, that that's how it would work. So th- there would be a sexual relationship in, in that whole dynamic. But it's not like there were older men just picking up young men off the street and fucking them because they wanted to, or like, or like, or like a thing like dominance. The dominance aspect wasn't a factor in these dynamics. Well, I think uh, I think so. That's very very interesting because that's a very fucking strange. Like, why are there rules to kind of like a fucked up relationship to begin with? But there were back then, and not not just rules, but like societal norms that we would totally not even like think of comprehending because we're like, okay, first of all, if you're even gonna consider older men, young and young, whatever, fuck it. So that that's why it's it's a weird thing to to like talk about because when you when you look into it and how these relationships existed, you're like, what the fuck? But that's how they did it. I uh, I don't think it's that weird. You can actually transition that with a lot of societal norms going up into, yeah. you know, uh, basically in the gay community, there's like twinks and then there's like yeah, what bears. What do you call it? The yeah, yeah, yeah. Bears the, and then like there's like different ones. There's like otters. And yes. Stuff. Don't tell. Don't ask sure, me how no, I no, know but, this. But it's they're, literally they're, because you have friends. I know. No, I used to work in a in a keep keep going in in, in a community where I worked. Our downtown is like gay bar, straight bar, gay bar, gay straight bar, whatever, whatever, whatever. So it was like you're gonna get fired here because like you smoke weed on shift. Okay, then you go across the street, you get hired there, and you work there like on the weekends. It was a really easy way of like getting to know people in your twenties and just getting confidence and just like because you know angry fucking Middle Easterns growing up. They have recently tough lives, you know, so it's like you're not you don't you don't really belong sure. in society. So you just like you have to like throw yourself in the fire type of okay. thing. So you become friends with like all these gay people, lesbians, she males, uh, just like all sorts of fucking people from all sorts of walk of life. And then you, you talk to them and shit because I was like interested in what the fuck they had to say as yeah, far as sure, like, yeah. what their culture is they about. Have good stories. Yeah, it's better than just standing there fucking talking about bullshit. So. Um, yeah. So it's basically like that teaching there aspect. Is, oh, there is also that too. Yeah, right? that yeah, okay. teaching aspect. I don't know how clear it is. Yeah, or how to find it. But there was. is like a small young boy to uh older, muscular, older man. Yeah, yeah. T- type of relationship. Now, how that translates to Greek, I don't know. But I think it's Sound, just it a sounds kind of it sounds kind of similar actually, which yeah. is interesting. Um, 
the other thing that you were mentioning because earlier were like the the whole aspect of every culture you kind of you said like derived to a point where gender was one of the, the the main issues of the times in these respective cultures yeah that actually reminds me a lot of how masculinity in general has changed over the course of human history because what we consider now to be masculine were not were and were not things back in the day so the way we dress the way men dress there were different things over history that have been important as a man to have yeah so like nowadays if you think of what does right now a well-dressed man look like to you? I think everybody's different. I think to me it's like a nice in, little... In general, Western culture. Two-piece. Two-piece suit. Nice little... Like, describe you know, the, yeah, describe yeah. the suit. Describe the suit. Like, you know... Try and be specific. Like some Louis Vuittons. Uh, that's some basic simp shit. But like basically just like a nice suit. Like, you know, you get like... Uh, I mean, what does say, a suit like look like? Is old it Nate. Clean lines? Like what, clean what's, the deal lines, here? what's the deal here? No like real thick stretch yeah. like fucking threads or anything like... Anything too fancy, kind of just a clean, slim, athletic cut. Yeah. Fairly like if if I want to have one word for the look, it's professional, but a hybrid. Yeah, sure. The fabric is not like the 50s where it's like fucking. But keep bringing it down. So the pants, shoes, like describe the whole outfit. Uh, You got like ankle high uh, pants. Tr- trousers, pants. Yeah, yeah. And then you got your long socks, probably something fancy. Yeah, you know, yeah, we're yeah. talking like birds on a plane smoking a joint yeah, or something sure, like sure, sure. real, real like. I, to me, I, that's what I would do. No, no. And shoes, what uh, shoes look shoes, like? Shoes, I would, I, would, I would have something like leather, whether you want to be that vegan grower. You know, shout out to my mom. She's like <laughs> a vegetarian. I don't know if that's the same as vegan. Probably sure. not. Nope. But uh, anyway. Um, they look like Oxfords. Oxford nice, dress shoes. Yeah, right? nice little shoes. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, a couple knots on them. Sure. And then uh, just like red bottoms or something. You know what I mean? See, so... What's Something interesting like that. about that is, and that, that's actually a real, that's a fucking really good outfit. I would, I would rock that if I, yeah, whatever. No but, tie though. Fair just enough. Click, keep it open. So tie, ties. You and, know. A, and a, and a nice little doesn't have to be like a Rolex or anything, but just a nice little kind of silver watch, watch yeah. on a tan skin looks nice. Yeah, and totally that like that's a great looking fucking outfit. Pretty good, man. But what's interesting is that you go back a few years, and I'm talking like hundreds of years, not like ten years ago or whatever, because yeah. we've had suits in our culture for a long time, but. That, what you just described, is almost like an ideal masculine male outfit. Yeah. You described a very good ideal masculine male outfit. Like, if you describe someone as, like, masculine man, whether he's, like, super masculine in terms of, like, what he does, or whether, even if he's kind of, like, dorky or dweeby, if you describe him, like, you just, you dress either of these people in that outfit, looks fucking great. You look good. And that's what we consider masculine. But, take it back a couple hundred years... And masculine was way more flamboyant than you would think of now. Do you know who um, who was that gay pianist in Vegas? Liberace. Liberace. The way Liberace dresses, I mean, to everybody listening, I understand that mas- masculinity has changed a bit now in let's, the last let's 10 look years. Up Liberace. In the last 10 years, masculinity has changed. Like now, people are like a bit more androgynous in how they dress. But I'm Don't saying, get offended, people. Yeah, in like the up to 2010, Liberace. the traditional masculine look. Liberace did not dress totally like. Totally wrong. There we go. That's second. Look at that. Look at that second outfit right there. God damn it, Liberace. That is not something people most people describe as masculine. Bro. However, he. Would I pull that pimp shit out though? He would I be, would. or that, that that outfit right there was like all sparkles and shit. He would be a king, three hundred years ago in France. Look up King Louis. King Louis outfit. Dropping bombs on this bitch. Yeah, man. Look Not up literally. King, yeah, look up King Louis outfit. Any of them. Uh-huh. Look at that shit. Little young Louis King. Twink, That baby. was the most masculine look. at that look. stash, bro. That looks cut something like yours. Yeah, mine's a bit If better. I leave you in the in, in celebs for a couple of weeks, <laughs> turn real quick into that, dude. Mine's better than that. But that was the masculine outfit. That screams you are a king with money. You command legions. You are the fucking man. Like, you are the man. You know what I think killed this? That was this? the look. You know what I think killed this? What? Like, 
specimens, like genetic <clears throat> specimens from like no. Africa. No. No, 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 not that killed this, like like they killed them, went into war. But I think in my mindset as somebody like uh, armchair quarterbacking, 2000, sure. like however long yeah, yeah. Uh, civilization has had these kind of modes. Uh, I think picking sides, I'd be biased because like I'm closer to one side than the other. But a bunch of these guys and a bunch of those guys – if if you have it in society, you have fifty percent of each. You're going about this the wrong way because you, I know what you're saying, but wiped one wiped one out. It, Whether it, it, how how sometimes it comes doesn't back doesn't apply this way because sometimes it goes back. If, I think it depends on like the the coincidence of birth across the no, world. Because no, those the the culture that you just described hormones these don't people, matter. The the rulers of that culture that you described and that you said would wipe out, they also dress like this. The reason is look up. Look up a female peacock. Do you know what a female peacock looks like? I don't know, but it sounds interesting. Uh, uh, spoiler alert. A female peacock looks boring as fucking shit. I don't know, man. It looks pretty cool. No, no. Go to male and female. Which one looks more interesting? That if, female if, looks hella submissive. If son. you didn't know that it was male and female, like if it wasn't spoiled to you, which one would you guess with your preconceived mind yeah, is male no and female shit, I know, right I the know left you're, saying, you're like so. fudge 100 percent. the one with the fucking the yeah. feathers in the back that one's the female has to be she's prettier and all of a sudden the guy's like actually you know what that's a male the female is the one that's boring as fuck so you're, you're what you're saying is that these guys were going based on the ideology of peacocking and that's how they were not funding. just peacocking in general a lot of animals in the world the males are the ones that are flamboyant extravagant the ones to look at it's the males that are like the most beautiful looking that we would consider beautiful looking, right? Is, that, is that a, patri a patriarchy uh, ideology or is that like a general census type of thing? No, no. I mean like if you consider colors to be beautiful, it is going to be the male animals that are the most colorful, the most beautiful. Across and the board? It's 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 like really typical. Look up. Uh, I, I can't just give you birds off the top of my head, but there are other birds. Same ideas. Okay, where but fuck birds. Like anything else. Mm. I guess lions. Main deer. Deer have the antlers. Yeah, yeah okay. Females don't. Yeah, yeah. Lions. Lions got the main. Yeah. Uh, males got the mane. The girls don't. Other than um, that, what? Rhinos kind of the same. Yeah, same deal. No, but they're the same. Like they look the same. Yeah. No. No. Uh, some of the other cats are about the same. I'm trying to think of other animals. But basically, I get what you're, you're saying. saying so, so, and it's not... Yeah. Okay, hold on. It's not universe. It's not like every fucking animal is like this. Right? Yeah, That's yeah, not yeah. what I'm saying. But a lot of them are like this. Because the ones that are, it is... The, you make the most attention. You look the best. You get the best girl. And you are the best. Like, you are considered top dog. Mm. And so, it's possible. And like, this is just... Now, this is me just Hector's opinion at this point. Um, but that whole like the King Louis thing that I just showed you, yeah, that kind of ideology was very similar in a lot of different cultures. It wasn't just Western culture. Mm. You had a lot of cultures where like the male ruler would look fucking like tanked, glitzed out. Yeah, in the Incan society, like in the in my people's cultures, yeah, the Incan societies, it was draped in gold. You look at them now, you'd be like, yo, bro, that's a bit fucking a bit much. You look a bit like you said, look a bit twinky. Yeah. But that was the fucking look. Like you would fucking walk down the stairs of your but temple I mean, look or whatever at, look at new draped age. in gold yeah. robes. No, you're whole right. Deal, you're right? 100% and right. And then and then you would have the fucking warrior Adonis. Yeah. Yoked. Yoked to shit. You think would be like the physical alpha male prime whatever and he looks just boring, right? And then we look at him now we're like, "Bro, this is the man. You are the specimen. You are you have to be the ruler." But back then, it'd be like, no, this guy's like the fucking, he just does the fucking killing. He's he's a savage. He's a, he's not that important. He just does killing. He doesn't do anything. You know what I mean? Like, it, yeah. it wasn't, it wasn't valued the way that we value it now. Mm. Interestingly enough. However, if you keep going back in history, then it kind of goes back to the whole more like primal, primitive nature of like strongest is king. And then it's like not so much, you know, who's dressing the best and getting the most attention gets the best girl. It's like, no, who is literally the strongest, baddest man in this tribe? He's getting most attention. He's getting the one. I think it, it goes back and forth. If it does. You, if you it, it's really of, interesting because 
you have you have animals that 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 do that mm. goats uh mount, mountain goats mountain sheep bighorn sheep how do they compete for, for 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 women they're fucking literally mashing their fucking heads together yeah and whoever comes out on top is the winner deer antlers they fucking like they're fighting whoever comes out on top as physically is the winner gets gets the best so females this being said just going to another aspect sure this is interesting as is but it's going to something else um do you think this is just gonna be fucking i mean we're talk. already we're already here this is gonna be we talk do you think one of the dimensions can be understanding oh my god uh these animals because obviously they communicate to each other with some type of lingual because it's not just I look at you, you look at me. We understand. Like, how do sure. we? We have obviously we have an understanding that this is the prize of the woman or whatever. And for that, there has to be some type of communication, whether it's between the animals. Yeah, between okay, the okay. animals. Whether it's as you're growing up, like as a goat to a whatever. So what? What's the question here? My question is: is like, is there a dimension where? that we understand these languages like actual languages because i i believe that i think i mean if they have communication they have to have a language i think whether it's yes and no or because no or what. language the way that you understand it is not something that's shared across different species i know that so we, we consider language to be either a verbal or um or a visual thing that we uh will give to other people of our species so either whether we're talking to them or whether we're, we're 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 visually giving them an indication, like I'm talking with my I'm talking with my hands, right? Mm -hmm. I'm doing this. You understand kind of what I'm saying? Not all animals do this. Some animals just communicate with touch. Some of them literally feel vibrations. So like bees, ants, like we're talking about, they're feelers. They're not they're not talking with each other. They yeah, they I'm, they, I'm they communicate a like different actual, way. I'm talking about like actual animals. Like it's I'm not talking about like insects and stuff. I get what you're saying as yeah. far as communication. But I mean, how far off is that than um, sign language? I actually think that um, sign language is the, the, pretty close. What to you're actually describing has actually been studied actually in depth, and there have been some advancements in terms of understanding different cues that animals will yeah, give cues, to others. Exactly. So th there actually we do we do already have a level of understanding. However, we haven't gone the other way, like to communicate with them. Yeah. So like we can. There have been advances made in terms of how that's, we can understand what because it's it's also we need to understand that what we consider language is a very unique way of expressing communication. For sure. Other animals don't need to communicate the way that we do, right? No. It's not the same. They're not they're not just saying words to get a to get a message across. They can get a mess a message across in a totally different way. Right. And so we have started to understand what some of these things mean. So like when a when a when a monkey calls out a certain way, because they'll they'll whether they whether they scream or whether they do this or that, we understand what these things mean now. Mm -hmm. But in terms of going the other way, I have, I haven't personally seen anything that gives us an indication that we can actually do that the other way around. Man, that think, would be think fucking about crazy. You're, you're you're like sitting with a fucking gorilla. No man, and fuck you're that. Talking to him and shit. Imagine and if you could talk weed? with your dog, Senora. Yeah. Imagine seriously, think of that. It's like, what do you want? What do you want to do? Imagine, son? no, seriously, right? Park, That'd be crazy. Park now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, but it'd be like it'll be repetitive like that though. Like, that, do, you, do you ever remember that movie Up or whatever the fuck? Yeah. Where he had that one dog that could talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They love you, love you, yeah, love yeah. you. Love. It's like it, that's yes. probably what it's gonna be like. Right, it's gonna be very primitive mindsets. Um, I think a gorilla might have something better to say, but you think you're gonna sit down with a gorilla and be like, "Hey, that's what do you why think? I said it's very unique to us." Yeah. Right? What do you think? What do you think yeah, the okay, meaning yeah. of life is? Yeah, and he's yeah. gonna be like, "Uh, don't understand." Like, you know not what even I mean? that. He'd be like, "Sex, <laughs> <laughs> sex, fuck, sex, fuck." Yeah, yeah, yeah uh, exactly. Sex, banana. And fuck, all of a sudden, yeah. like he's hungry. He's like, "Hungry, food." You know what I mean? Like, it, who knows? Or maybe yeah. it is more complex. Fuck more it, I don't complex, know. Who knows? But it, it, it is an interesting thing to think about because they're like, um, well, where would that actually get us? So from gorilla to Chris Hemsworth, okay? Gorilla to human gorilla. Uh, yeah. Uh, or so kind of gorilla. Kind of gorilla. Uh, gorilla from the waist up. <laughs> so, so you know, out of 10, what do you think the odds are? No, not out of 10, but what, just what do you think the odds are him being on the, you know, Zazul? I think our boy... Uh, and more place, more dates went over this guy, I think. Yeah. I think the consensus was yes, sauce. Pretty well, sure, Well, right? I mean, he blows up so significantly. It was it yes, would, I it think. It would have pretty to sure. be. And another thing I would just have to say is that 
He is very tall. People don't understand. Very tall guy. Was so, he six two? Six four. Fuck me. So he's six four. Uh, to get any kind of size, size noticeable like, size. Like me and Vic, we used to work out. Okay, yeah, sure. together, and we're like 18, 19 years yeah, old. Yeah. And I was at that point, I was working out probably like two or three years. Yeah. And I'm about six foot. Yeah. And Vic's like five seven, yeah, five eight. eight. Yeah, yeah, eight. Yeah, five eight. And Vic worked out with me for a summer. Literally got a bigger back than me by the end of the summer. And it was redonkulous. It wasn't that he had actual bigger back, but it was his lat size in that like small frame looked ridiculous. Yes, yeah, so we talk about like noticeable size. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. Because that is totally different from like three months, dude. Actual size. Because actual size, like, okay, let's take the tape measure and do the thing. Yeah. But like, we're talking about like noticeable. Like, if, yeah. if somebody who has no idea about this, no idea. this game just looks at you, yeah. what do they, yeah. Do they so, see something? So, to, yeah, like you said, to, so to put on noticeable size, size on a guy huge. that size, man, that's a lot of mass. It's a lot. It's a lot of mass. And it's like, he has to get in a lot more calories. Like the all, all these things are multiplied, right? Like yeah. His liver functions have to be better. Jesus, it's his it's a lot. There's a lot going there's on. There's a lot here. going on. Yeah, these guys are millionaires and stuff. I'm sure they're on like the best fucking health clinic diets, like that yeah, they could yeah. be on, and fucking you know Mexican supplements. Sure. And, and hey, Mexican supplements Mexican for sure. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so basically, if you look at this guy, right, all the androgenic areas that he could be big in he is like shoulders traps yeah like he's very the, the muscles that are gonna significantly show yeah that someone's on sauce it's showing and the ones that wouldn't because of genetics right are showing as well his fucking calves are tiny as shit there's no, a reason do, for do that. we think that's a bad photo or is that him actually having small legs and calves I so look, yeah, look, go, scroll down, pull up that one on the left. That's actually okay. That's okay. And then the, the that's one. pretty good. Yeah. So it, was that just a bad photo? Um. Or like, look at him stretching. Yeah, right there. That's that's, that's about as, as good as it's gonna get. The one on the left. Well, yeah, that one. That's about as good as it's gonna get. He's engaged in some kind of physical activity, so he's doing a thing. They're not actually. They're pretty good. I I just think that. For everybody, you have to look at it like this. Yeah, yeah. When you're taking this photo, right? His this calf is close to where his arms are, and his arms are reaching forward. Right now, would this look different? Is he if he's like doing like a front double by? Yes, <laughs> yes, it would look significantly yeah, yeah, yeah. different. Now, aesthetically, your calves are supposed to be almost the same size as your biceps. Let's say he's not like a true, true bodybuilder or anything like that. He's just a fucking yeah. Film so star. that photo right there, that's a good one. Where's walking? One? Yeah, that's a good one. All right. So at this point. His 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 inner inner uh, calf is okay. lining yeah. is good. It's, it's really the outer good. one. It's the outer that one that rough. is is uh, isn't uh, and that just it's just strictly genetic. And if you've done like a lot of agility work, you see this being overdeveloped in like right. football players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. NFL like they yeah, got like yeah. and you know Africans are actually because they're so agile. Their Achilles tendon is so much longer genetically, so their their inner is actually smaller. So this guy is like his genetics are like pretty much opposite of like a really good African gene. Sure. Because they would have the complete opposite generally. Right. They would have really fucking small calves and really good exterior calves. So right. him, uh, you know, I just think his blow up was uh significant. Uh whether yeah. his calves are good or bad, I mean I mean so take it, a take is a look it at worth this, it dude. at this point for this guy to get calf implants. I mean, I it's don't Hollywood, think about baby. calf. Listen, this is what I would think of. I would think of like uh, I, I would call up my boy uh, Boston Lloyd, and I would get that three <laughs> cc <laughs> protocol on calves. Okay, three cc outer, three cc inner. That shit would blow up in like two weeks. Yeah, no now, kidding. You don't have to do it that much, but honestly, I think uh, it's worth it. Getting the oil at for him because he's for a, him, that's what I'm saying. Not he, yeah, just yeah. It's not normal person shit. This is like <laughs> you're trying to be the best of the best. You're on movies and shit. I would, I would do that. And I would try to actually work on my neck. You know, a lot of problem with these guys, like they have the situation. Look, have you ever seen the situation? Yeah. 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 I think Let from, me show you the from situation. Ba from back in the day, you're, you're talking like fucking, uh, Jersey shore. Yeah. So the, the problem with the situation is like, 
let's just take a look at this. He's got a decent yeah, body. Yeah, decent body. Now, is this a lot of Sazul and like fucking... Bro, it's Jersey Shore, know, no shit. Spanish, Mongoli yeah, fucking yeah, food? Yeah, 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 yeah. And no neck gains or what? But yeah, it, that's basically what it what it is. A lot of these guys, like even in... Like you could even look at them in, on the circuit, like on the IFBB circuit. Yeah. They are really good neck down, but neck up, they actually are like lacking. Like it, like Kevin Lavroni was one of them. Kevin Lavroni's neck. I remember Lavroni, yeah. Yeah. Amazing body. He could have probably won was it, it if it Ronnie was Lavroni, wasn't in there. Right? Lavroni, Lavroni, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So he had. What about a, Paul Dillett? Because he was a tall guy Paul too. Daly? Right? No, Paul Daly? No, Dillett. Dillett. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I knew who you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Paul he, Dillett has his own uh, league now. It's a DI. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Okay, but take a look at this fucking neck. Some of these are photoshopped. Hold on. Uh, where's like the rig? Yeah, that. I think that was. No, that's definitely photoshopped. Yeah, yeah, Come yeah. on, son. Bro, that's if your neck is the look same yeah, size yeah. of your like if you're doing this right. Yeah. And and your neck is the same size as your jaw. You did it great. Yeah. Like if you're doing this and your neck is like exactly here. Sure. Bro, that's perfect. That's like what you want. Now there's are there guys that's way fucking thicker than this? Fuck Didn't yeah. this guy have like 19 inch arms, like 20 inch arms? He was tall too. He was like yeah, that's what I'm saying because he was like six whatever. Yeah, so he was he was fucking huge. Six he four. Was, no, he was no he was six four. Where? Up there. No, bro, he's 185. 193, it says. Okay, well this is where I don't know where this is from, but I'm pretty sure this is wrong. I'm like just 100% Google height because he I know he was a tall mother I'm for, 100 for a bodybuilder he was tall as hey, fuck hey you want to do a one punch uh, you no do enough with your you always want to bet punches man bet money yeah so uh, I think somebody changed that 6'2 six, six yes. six yeah 6'2 six yeah. Six so. why does it, was he oh was he taller at one point maybe I don't know no I don't think so anyways you know, tall dude 2 inches is a lot like, of mass they do a lot of fusing for that <laughs> uh, yeah so a lot of mass, but generally this looks a lot better than the fucking situation. Yeah, no, I I agree. Um, but yeah, yeah. Uh, one last thing I want to ask you. What you um, got? about to wrap soon. Wrap it up. Uh, what do you think of? Uh, how do you think is the world ever gonna come back from this, or is this gonna be something we carry on? Like, are we, we going to talk about it like this? Are we going to talk about this corona in 30 years' time? Like, I remember when it happened, and it was over. Dude. Or are we going to be like this? Are we going to be like, man, it was a year and a half where I was tripping ass, and the world was tripping, and thank God it's back to normal now. What do you think? If you had the what's like, over and under, what do you... What, Hold on, what do you mean? You, those are like... Okay. Two, well, those two things... Could, didn't make much sense okay okay i'm baked yeah so, yeah, yeah no so, no no. Just try again yeah, try again try, try again. again okay so in 30 year time yeah yeah from now are you gonna look back on corona yes and say i remember the day the world changed sure forever yeah okay or are you gonna say man when i was a kid or when i was in my 20s yeah yeah you kids have it great when I was a kid, we had the corona for a year and a half. We had to get these vaccines. Oh, so you're thinking like... like is, is it going to be like something like polio? Or is it going to be like a fucking movie where the world's changed forever? Okay, so... Absolutely, this is going to be one of the most talked about events in human history. In modern human history. This for is a, sure. This is a world changer in so many ways. Open your eyes, girls and boys. For the next little while, people are going to be like... This will be studied for, the ne- for like forever. This is going to be studied for the intensity for the next like 50 years. 20. People are going to literally be, be born now, grow up, and do their thesis on this. Like that's yep. going to be their life. Some people's lives are literally going to revolve around the study of, the, of this, not just coronaviruses, but COVID, here first, COVID-19, COVID-19, right? However, do I think this is going to be some like world changer in terms of like how we interact as a society? I don't think as much as people think, although I do think there will be some changes we carry with us for a very long time. Now, if you want to get specifics, that one's tricky because I'm not sure. Is it going to be like Asian Asian societies where they got hit with a couple of really big viruses? White not note. not just SARS. We're talking like, oh, they also got hit with like avian flu pretty bad a few times and stuff like that. And all of a sudden now they have a very keen sense for how to interact with viruses. Do you remember the Toyota Avalon? Yeah. 
Okay, continue. <laughs> okay. Um, where Asian, a lot of Asian communities have a very good sense of how to manage a virus. Like as soon as anybody, or in ge- just in general, not even epidemics, but just getting sick in general, where if you get sick, shout out to South Korea. If you're if you get sick, you're putting on a, a mask just because it's it's normal. You know what I mean? Like if you're yeah, they're putting if you're, on masks if, in if 2001. You're, if you're coughing, you put on a mask because it just yeah. makes sense. You don't want whatever. And all the other things that they, that they manage to change with how they react to to, to pandemics will be. I, I think those things will, we will probably take some of those things on going forward because I think they're, they're actually pretty reasonable things to do. It's you, you learn and you live. Like you live and you learn. I fucked that up. Um, however, when it comes to these other like grandiose predictions that people have about like how we're all going to change and how we work and interact and blah, 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 no, I don't think it's going to be that uh, aggressive because w- funnily enough, and as, and I've seen it here and I see it in other places and from the people that I talk to in other countries. A lot of people have managed to keep doing what they've always done pre-pandemic even now because they enjoy those things. So when it comes to, you know, seeing their friends, they'll find a way to sneak out and see their friends just because they want to. They enjoy that. Sure. And Why people, not? And, yeah, right? And people still are talking about the things that they miss and they want to do when things open up. So they're still looking forward to going to concerts. They're still looking forward to going to the bar, grabbing a drink, getting drunk with their friends. They're still enjoying or looking forward to playing sports again. So you're to saying watch significantly it's not going to change, but because people are going to do the same hobbies? Yes. A lot of, a lot of people in, people's interests have stayed the same. Some of them have increased a lot. So uh, online gaming has gotten huge nowadays because fucking if you're at home, what's fucking going to do, right? Uh, you know, just like teleconferencing in general has gotten a lot bigger now because a lot of people who never use it before were forced to use it now. But when people start talking about how all of a sudden cities are going to change and jobs are going to change and all this, I don't think it's going to be as extreme as people think. Um, I think there are going to be some some good changes that come out of this. I think that if you now on your resume when you're looking for a job request to work remote, it's not going to be as big of a deal breaker as it used to be. Because before there were some job positions where if you said remote, they're like, "Fuck it, we're just gonna get somebody local. We're not gonna have you remote. We want you here." All the tech is moving remote, man. Yes and no, right? Because I think there's some stuff like, like for example, at my work, we have found very creative ways to do things remote because we were literally forced to. We wouldn't have wanted to in some situations, but we had to. However, that was only because there was no other way. But as soon as things kind of come back to a point where it's more of a choice. There are some things, like I said, the whole working remote, that's going to be way more acceptable nowadays for my company specifically. But there are other things that we're going to go back to, quote unquote, the old way right away because it just makes more sense. It's more efficient and it's better for everybody involved. So I don't think some of these huge changes that people are predicting are going to happen. But I do think there are going to be some things that um, that we will take with us going forward. And it is actually going to affect kind of not affect, but it's going to be part of our daily lives. Hopefully these effects are not uh you know like herpes nah you know what i mean that you might have to take a shot every two years for some like new brand of corona but that's about it new brand of corona huh new brand is that of what corona. they're calling it we're is not that the trudeau terms covid 20 baby wait till covid 20 you had covid 19 wait for covid 2020 i'm still waiting for trump 2024 right <laughs> um you think things gonna win uh what's your face no we want who caitlin no, fuck that. Kaylin's not gonna win, huh? No. God damn it. Um, yeah. So, it's a good little episode, man. Great. One, good man. little episode. We got baked. Uh, my boy is uh, hella baked. I'm fucking new planet. Shattered, son. Yeah, you're in a different place. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm dark. Put I'm those deep. glasses back on. Yeah, I'm deep in this, uh, and uh, I'm enjoying it, man. It's beautiful. Uh, so. New announcement. We are on fucking Apple Podcast. We are officially on Apple Podcast, which now means we are on every single major podcast platform out there. So make sure to like, follow, subscribe. Like a good babushka. Anywhere you are. Instagram, we got at Funny But Foul Podcast. YouTube, Funny But Foul. Spotify and Apple as well. And all your other major podcast platforms. Yes. All that good shit. Give us a like. Give us a subscribe. Share us. Show us love. 
We'll show you love, man. Yeah. That's what it's all about, you know? That's what it's all about, baby. Another one, man. Proud of you. You too, man. Peace.